I am not your boss. I am your king. What's up everybody how's it going i hope everybody's having a good day today i hope everybody's doing well and i hope everybody's staying safe we're of course approaching christmas break so i know a lot of you are getting ready to head out of town again to meet family and stuff like that so like i said i hope everybody's being safe i know up in the north it's a little bit crazy um but yeah let's get into this now in my last video i talked about the wonder woman game and how it was a huge surprise to everybody at the game awards we weren't necessarily expecting a wonder woman game announcement and also i just briefly talked about what this means for the future of dc games as a whole because dc's video game titles have mostly been batman centric and the only time they do focus on their other characters is either in injustice or in their lego games so with the Wonder Woman game getting ready to come out probably next year or the year after, I think this is a huge, huge step in the right direction for DC games as a whole. But a lot of people are, you know, a little bit skeptical. A lot of people aren't necessarily as excited. A lot of people want the next Batman game, but you know, that's neither here or there. Now, when it comes to this Wonder Woman game, I see this as more of a testing ground, so to speak. You know, it's like DC is sort of realizing that putting out Batman game after Batman game is probably going to get old real fast real quick. I mean, I'm personally tired of getting Batman games all the time. And especially when you have Suicide Squad killed the Justice League and which, I mean, you're fighting the Justice League, you're not playing as the Justice League. And then with Gotham Knights, it's just another Batman game. I'm excited for both, but to be honest with you, like, there is, like, no reason why we shouldn't have a Superman game right now or a Flash game or a Justice League game. The Avengers game has pretty much proven that a Justice League game can work. Of course, approving, improving on that game's flaws because that game has a lot of flaws. A Justice League game can work. And, you know, a Superman game, I think, can work. I have my own personal ideas for a Superman game where the story can sort of mix in with the gameplay that way you don't feel like you're that overpowered but that's a, of course a video for another day but when it comes to this wonder woman game i see this as more of a testing phase like seeing if other characters can work in their so own solo games rather than just putting them in injustice or in a lego game where it's just either you fighting against another superhero or villain or you fighting against lego bricks you know what i'm saying as fun as those games are i mean they're not going to be a substitute justice league game they're not going to be a substitute for a justice league game injustice not a substitute for a justice league game dc lego dc superheroes not a substitute for a justice league game i mean even as i play these games they just do not feel like a proper justice league game especially not injustice because all you're doing is just fighting one superpowered character and that's it. It's literally just a fighting game. And that's what it is. And, you know, with this Wonder Woman game, hopefully if this Wonder Woman game does do well, we will get more DC games that do not focus on just Batman. I mean, I don't even want a Green Arrow game either because that's too close to a Batman game. I want to actually play as these superpowered beings. I want to play as the Flash. I want to play as Green Lantern. I want to play as Hawkman. I want to play as these just vast array of characters that deserve their own solo game. Now, I know there are some characters that you just cannot make solo games for or open world or there are certain things you just cannot do with these characters an aquaman game i would say would f i think that game would fit more of a god of war type setup i don't think a open world aquaman game would work um 
with, say, a Green Lantern game, I think it can pretty much benefit from the more Guardians of the Galaxy setup with their game. But there are multiple different ways you can make these games. You don't have to straight up go open world. You don't have to go as big and as ambitious as, say, Star Wars Eclipse is going to go. But as far as, you know, giving these characters the opportunity to shine in their own games, I think that definitely needs to happen. And with this Wonder Woman game, hopefully it does well enough to give WB a wake-up call and say, hey, we don't just want Batman games or Batman-adjacent games. We want more games with the characters that we love in the DC Comics universe. But I mean, that's pretty much all I have to really say about that on that front. But when it comes to things I want to see in this Wonder Woman game, there's a good bit I do want to see. I'm talking about a decent gear system. I'm talking about a decent leveling up system. Um, different Wonder Woman villains. I've already said before in the Wonder Woman 3 video that Wonder Woman has a good array of villains. Maybe not a vast array, but she has a good, decent amount of villains. Then, of course, you also have the Nemesis system. And with my experience playing Shadow of War, the Nemesis system is really enjoyable, but at the same time, it can get really tedious and annoying. So hopefully they sort of fix it up a little bit to where it's not really so repetitive because sometimes it'll be hard to, to sort of take down different lieutenants and stuff like that. Some lieutenants just cannot stay dead for shit. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? And it's one of those things that just, it's one of the pains of the Nemesis system and one of the reasons why I don't even play Shadow of War like that anymore. Um, but it's not probably not going to be beat for beat like Shadow of War. It's probably going to be some changes in there. But with that being said, hopefully this game is the perfect Wonder Woman game. As the whole Batman Arkham meme used to go, it makes you really feel like Wonder Woman. Of course, that's probably going to be a whole new meme in itself. Um, but what are your thoughts? What exactly would you want to see in this Wonder Woman game? Um, my next video will more than likely be the different skins that I would like to see for Wonder Woman to wear in this game. But yeah, let me know what you want to see. Let me know what exactly how you want Wonder Woman to play. Do you want her to kill? Do you not want her to kill? Um, let me know in the comments below. Hope y'all are being safe out there. Peace.